So I went into Starbucks the other day because there was nothing else nearby, and I said, I'd like a piece of coffee cake. Fairly simple, right? And the guy responds, what do you mean? Do you mean the Crumbleberry coffee cake? And sure enough, it said right there on the label, Crumbleberry coffee cake. But I'm a fucking man, and I don't say words like Crumbleberry without a gun or a sick baby pointed at my face. So I stared at him and I said, yeah, the coffee cake. And he was like, which one? But he fucking knew which one, because the other one was called Coffee Palooza or some shit and was clearly only meant for middle-aged asexual women who wear Christmas sweaters out of season and, and own the entire box set of Who's the Boss. He knew which one I meant, all right? But he wanted to make me say it because he sits behind that counter all day getting screamed at by 18-year-old Snooky lookalikes because he only put one pump of caramel piss juice in their raspberry mochiata caramel piss latte instead of two pumps. So his only joy in life is forcing 30-year-old men to say the word crumbleberry as they slowly place their balls in the tip cup. So I did the mature thing, and I said, how about you go fuckleberry yourself, and I left. But the truth is, it's not his fault. It's a corporate decision to infantilize us, because they did extensive research and found that we're 15% more likely to buy the coffee cake if we subconsciously feel like we're children. And I'm sure they had a long boardroom debate about whether to name it the Crumbleberry Coffee Cake or the Quumbleberry Coffee Cake. They love to subconsciously turn us into kids because kids make stupid decisions like eating 500 calorie coffee cake and purchasing Snuggies and wearing Crocs while we tell Howie Mandel whether we're really sure or just a little bitty sure that we want to open the second suitcase on the video game version of Deal or No Deal. Making us feel like children is useful to our corporate daddies. Don't forget that next time you're changing your order at a Cold Stone Creamery from love it to gotta have it. Or next time you're ordering a Subway, Subway sandwich from a sandwich artist because someone in an office somewhere did testing and found out we surfs are 12% more likely to buy a sandwich from a sandwich artist than a sandwich technician or a sandwich aficionado or a sandwich warlord. And I don't even think they're right. I'm more likely to buy from the warlord because if you don't, you know you're getting honey mustard sprayed across your face like some sort of culinary money shot and then he's going to post that on on YouTube because that's what warlords do. They take away your dignity.